Evening all, and welcome back to Factorio. Uh, I am joined as ever by Nadio Gamer. Hello, Nog. Hello, hello. And uh, we're talking balances. That was his. Yes. Um, because you built this. this that I, I I I didn't look at once last last episode, and then I came over and looked at it, and my brain just exploded. Because <laughs> uh, this is a twenty-four belt so, balancer. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure how well it balances, but it balances some. But it, it's got things going everywhere and things. Go, and I'm, I, wow, yeah. Um, uh, and then, of course, you mentioned that you might not need a 24 one, so we're only going to have eight lines. Yeah, eight lines uh, coming in <laughs> and 24 going out. Oh, obviously, you need an eight to 24, but uh, yeah, because uh, I see, I see. Because we have over here at the trains, we have. Double sided loading for each. Four, eight, 12, 16, 24. 20, 24, yeah. Uh, I think. Uh, one, two. Surely the best way to do that then is to build our smelting system with this sort of design in mind. Yeah. So you build them in batch, batches of four and then split them to an eight. Yeah, that's easier, isn't it? If you if you had like if you had four lines of uh, iron coming up and you split them to eight, that's easy enough. Uh, yeah, that's and then should... you build another batch of four and then another batch of four. Yeah, so... so for each train you build a batch of four lines. Yeah, so that would be hmm. So now we have six, and that that that's where this comes in. That's where this comes in, that the, the, you might be looking at and going, what's that? Yeah. <laughs> My brain tells me, uh, one, two, three, I didn't mean to count this, one, two, three, four, five, six. it's 12. 12. Uh, but my brain tells me that should be a 12 to 12 balancer. With I, just all of them in there, because... I agree. Yeah. Uh, an item that comes in on the outside line on the left has the potential to go over one or stay on its line, and then every yeah. splitter has the potential to do that. Yes. So it could end up all the way over on the right line by the time it comes out. So I basically so if anybody knows, if anybody knows watching why this design wouldn't work over something like this or some of the fancy balances that we've got. Uh trying to find one on the map now, or is it there it is. Uh like the, these things here. What why the four by fours? Why do you need a s yeah, that's on the coal or iron source? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What why why couldn't you build something just as simple as this? Why wouldn't that work? I don't know. It's a good question. Oh, yeah. But but if we look at a four by four balancer, then again, the outside line goes in and merges with the outside line on the other side, and the two inside lines. The four by four. That's the one we've got on the uh, by the robot port, isn't it? Uh, where? On the what would have been the main copper line coming in, copper ore. Uh, yes. Yeah. It is. So, but it, it is it is basically exactly what I built here, just doubled up. I know this is this is larger, but if if you yeah, except that the outside line on both sides merge merge directly with each other. Yeah. Which is uh, that that's the bit I don't get. I don't understand why that's required. Yeah, because the first part of it, where the, the stuff comes in, it will split between the four lines, and then you're splitting it again. So why would you split the outside ones? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't understand it. I don't know. So let's but, keep uh, it simple, shall we, for now? And then uh, if uh, someone yeah, smarter if, than if we us, build our smelteries with that in mind, with uh, the whole four, four to eight. Uh, eight, eight or eight whatever you know then yeah that 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 will work that will work i think yeah and that's just basically this so we're splitting it out so i have blueprinted this i am going to tear it up uh, this okay, okay. Me... Uh, big one uh... yeah because that's four and that splits out to eight yeah
So yeah. Okay. I, I would say that that would probably work. Right. Maybe. For some reason, this iron's disconnected, and I don't know why. I, I, there must have been a reason for disconnecting the iron at some point, and I don't know what it is. Oh, I think that was probably me. Ah, because it, it's all been cut off at some place. I'm like, hmm, what we? Why was that? What happened? Uh, I think that was me. Because we could just keep making more, right? Well, we've run out of ore now, so it should. Yeah, okay, so once, once the ore is gone. Out, yeah, once the ore is gone, that should yeah. be it. Yeah. Okay. So, now, do you mind coming over here for a second? Uh, yeah, I'll pay me just a moment. I'm just going to have a, a quick check of something. Just looking, but if you put more splitters in, you can filter things out better. I don't know. No, leave it. Yeah, right, where, where did you go to? Oh, hello. Uh, over here uh, at this. So we have, I put in the the uh, roundabout up here so that it fits yep. with the with the uh, robot port. port yeah. And unfortunately we're going left hand so we'll have to cross the tracks down here. If we are keeping this center track which is also uh, being moved I'd... over a bit. I don't think we need this track here. Uh, but I'm not then... sure. Oh, hold on, hold on. Didn't we, didn't we... So I have a... Could we still haven't actually figured out where the center of this space is, have we? <laughs> not at all. But I mean, we're, we're going to expand more. That is my guess. Yeah. Yeah, so it doesn't really, really matter. So, so but... but... We have uh, down in the middle on this we, where I set up the uh, the green circuits. We do have. Yeah, there's that line there. I was wondering whether that was going to become the center. Yeah. Well, it's certainly not the way it's set up now. Because if that came up, that would pretty much touch the roundabout that you've connected everything onto it should so then this line doesn't matter or the roundabout up here this line doesn't matter because we won't ever use it uh, this one I just tore something out of yeah yeah that one shouldn't be really shouldn't used be there at there. all so, so. Okay, that's good. Makes it a bit simpler. That means I don't need this. And I don't need this. I mean, you could really, that, that doesn't necessarily need to be a roundabout here, does it? You could just tap off the main line and... I could. And then exactly the same for when you rejoin it, you don't necessarily need a roundabout, although it depends on where they're going to. Yeah. And again, I suppose it depends where they're coming from, doesn't it? So. Yeah, it does. So maybe it's good Having with the, the roundabout. Good. Yeah. Yeah. But you could get rid of that whole edge there, and then rather than have the track come all the way down and round up again, you could make it more streamlined. Uh, maybe yeah. If if you wanted to, trust you, it doesn't really matter as so long as it works. Well, we'll see if it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. I'm gonna disconnect this lower copper mine because there's no point in it dragging this out any longer okay now if we have this do I have room for all this stuff in my I do right stop okay there's no point no point in this running any longer I'm trying to get the dredges up and we're going to do So, uh, oh yeah, uh, off, something I didn't mention, uh, off camera I actually plugged in the uh, iron chest that I had pick up. So you see here the iron is actually now going down.
because uh, we are filtering it all into chests here. So yeah. Yeah. I want to come and see what you have been doing nice. while I have been messing with useless uh, balancers. It's not very exciting, but I'm just generally trying to put everything that we have that comes to the end of the line in chess so we don't necessarily waste it all. Mm -hmm. Steel is going to be the next one that we're going to do. Sounds good. Uh, Steel is going to go up there. But I think iron's actually going to be an interesting one because it's not. Uh, there's not as much iron as there is copper, apparently. Do we have way more copper? Uh, I don't think so. But we were going to need more copper. Most definitely. something similar here now when you make a deconstruction blueprint how do you filter it again I can't remember uh, don't know so, maybe here uh, I think you put it in your inventory don't you like that and then right click on it there we go Okay, so blacklist. Power cables, I want to blacklist that and blacklist rubber and probably so chests. Can go now. The problem is. Not that there. I know if we've got any no, buffer chests. Buffer chests? What's that? Request for specific items to be available for personal logistics and automatic construction. Oh, cool. So that means. So if we're doing four to eight, that means that we need. We would have 12 lines of smelting going. Iron smelting. Uh. Uh, hang on, what? Sorry, say that again? So, if if we have, if we do a four to eight splitter, then we would have 12 lines of iron smelting going because we have 24, so eight, 16, 24. So that means that we have 12 inputs and 24 outputs. Yeah, yeah, that works. Can, can, can I request something from you? Yeah. And only because it ever so slightly annoys me. You've got, just above where you're stood, mm -hmm. uh, your central central line. Yeah. Why have you got this weird kink in it? Uh, there? Yeah. Uh, why, why don't you just have the, 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 uh, the places where the trains wait come down by one more toll and line it all up lovely for the centre? I could do that. Because it, it's... it's uh, Yeah, it is annoying to I look at. It, it, yeah, it's... Like, no! Yeah, I, I agree. Um, I agree. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I know, obviously, you've just put it in to get it all working, but, yeah. But I'll, I'll do it. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've, I've got a deconstruction blueprint that will destroy everything apart from... Uh, the boxes, the provider chest for uh, the robo ports, mm -hmm. uh, power cables, and robo ports themselves, so that I could just literally go over the entire whole thing and just go deconstruct everything. Cool. Do you reckon that would be a good idea? Probably. I think it sounds like a good idea. Because, yeah, I mean, I'm going to take the steel out. I'm going to do that um, of the of the line and put all the steel at the end. Mm -hmm. But I just then might put down the 165 storage chests I've got out here somewhere and just let the uh, robos do the rest. 
Okay. I think that sounds reasonable. No, I have no idea where you are. There. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of storage chests. It is. It is. Um, the first lot are all copper, the second lot are all iron. That's what I meant. We got way more copper than we have iron, but... Mm. Maybe so because we're not using as much copper yet. Possibly, yeah. Uh, maybe you should tell your deconstruction blueprint not to take up robot parts as well, if you haven't already. Yeah, robot parts, power cables, and chest. Okay. Nori. Okay. So now that this has been pulled out... If we do that... You gonna come put these down? No, you're not. You're gonna go and do that. Aha. And they are filtered. Awesome. Right. I've got my personal robot port turned off as well, so. Oh. I don't have to worry about it filling up my inventory with crap. <laughs> yeah, sounds, re sounds like a good idea. Uh, I think. Well, I'll, I'll let it run the steel down. So we've got copper steel and iron over here in one place uh, just so should we need it that's like the base materials yeah sounds good right, off you go put them down might be easier to just do this Is that the same? That doesn't look the same to me. What's that? I'm looking at my... No, it's not. Ah. Uh... What, the one going up, one coming down? Yeah. Nope. No, it's not. It's not good enough. Take it all out, do it again. Yep. <laughs> So, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just, you know, I'm dumped. <laughs> well, now I want it to be perfect. So if we do. I think that one of the bottoms got too long of a. The curve isn't like a 90 degree curve, if that makes sense. Uh, which it's one got three that? single pieces in it rather than the one. Uh, this uh, you can't see where I'm. This here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that one's. But that's because if if I don't do that, I won't be able to hook up to this line. To to this line. Okay. So you just need to copy that bottom piece as the top piece as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right, are you done with this steel? Jeez, there's a lot of steel on this line. Mind you, we're making a lot of steel. Steel. So. You require plastic. We're out of plastic. Right. Okay. Right, I've got two, three. Almost 200 efficiency modules and 200 speed module twos on me. Wow. It's all stuff you made. It's not, nothing to do with me. You, you've done this all. Yeah, that's true. That looks right. More or less. At least the end bit. This bit looks right. Not so sure about this bit up here. Right, how are we doing for stone? Is that finally run out? 
it has. Awesome. So it's just the coal train is the only one that we're not using. That's because we're not using any coal anyway. Well, we're using one little bit of coal. Oh, oh, we're starting to get some holes in the steel production. That actually looks kind of right. Yeah, that's good enough. There you go. Okay, then we want... Uh... I think I got it. No. Yeah. Yeah, looks good. Okay. Good, good, good. Okie dokie. Did I not put in the... Right. Put in that there and then that's there, that's fine. I think. So... Oh, you can't save the construction blueprints. Oh. And can we get one? Oops. One, two, three, four. We can actually. I like it. Okay. I need to make sure I don't get the rail. Man, I've been working on this stuff for a long time. Hopefully... Okay. Uh, Are you ready for me to deconstruct about a third of the base? Yes. Do your worst. Boom. Uh, I'm going to lose some of the fluids and stuff, but... Yeah. So be it. I didn't put down the uh, storage chest first. It was a mistake. I want to see this happening. Where are all the construction robots, though? They're giving me all the stuff. They obviously think you need it. There we go. Go, go away, I don't want it. <laughs> I have turned off my rover ports and no one picks anything for me. Uh-huh. Clever. I am a little bit surprised that there's not as many... Oh, I think they're probably coming from way over somewhere else. How do you turn off your rover port? Uh, control and R, or Alt and R, sorry. Uh, Alt or and there's R? a little button on the right hand, very right side of your panel. Ah, there. Oh, here to go, here to go. The Masty construction. Wow. <laughs> and they should leave all the power cables, all the, uh... Rover ports and all of the rover port style chests, but cool. other chests they'll get rid of. It's the iron and steel ones, get rid of. Cool. Now, I need this. We really need to install better batteries on them. Yeah, that would be useful. Um, can't go that close. Because they're all just running around and they're going, I need power, help me. <laughs> so if we do... That. And it needs to be in here. Actually, Ooh, lucky, lucky, lucky. Them come. Look, look, like a swarm of ants. Look, 
things. I don't know where half of them are actually going. They also appear. Oh, there's another lot of storage crates down here. Of course, I forgot about that. Uh, my chaos storage. That's okay. That's okay. We we can sort it all out. We'll, we'll have to do a bit of manual looking through. Yeah. Well, actually, I was thinking that uh, when we set up our new production lines, we can do um, like uh, requested chests for whatever the, it is that's going into to that production, because then they can request those items from storage chests around the place. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense and leave it as a that sort of thing yeah. um then it can empty out this old storage up here yes exactly so shame you can't prioritize storage like just say hey these these storage chests here these are the priority yeah and that would be really nice over there out the way that would be but really i suppose nice. you could potentially just put down request a chest um and then go Hey, can you bring me all of these things? Yeah. And it will grab them from wherever and bring it over. Yeah. So if you want to move stuff, you can just do that. Hey. Yeah, that's true. You can't do that. Wow, there are a lot of robots. <laughs> this is laggy as hell. Wow. <laughs> Actually, it isn't for me. It's working fine. It, it, yeah, I, I can see it stuttering on my one. So, yeah, I don't know. It's only when I'm fully zoomed out. Yeah, me too. I uh, started a little bit. I'm gonna have to deconstruct all of the uh, spell trees as well. They only go in. Yeah. Okay, now it's getting laggy. Right, zoom in again. <laughs> right, well. That was the iron. I guess we just need to duplicate. The copper stop. More or less, though, we will need around twice as much copper as we do iron. So I was actually thinking. Well, we need to divide up this area up here into like three parts and go that one's iron, that one's steel, and this one's copper. Mm -hmm. And. Yeah. If we can run a train track down from that central roundabout, yeah, that would be okay. Yeah, from yeah, up here. From here. Because we could always run a run a, a, tra a train down a, a track down and do a roundabout further down as well. So. Rather yeah. than cross the lines, you could just connect them onto the the other side. Yeah. Whichever, you know, it can be can be done. And then this would be the center of it all. Yeah. So then we could say everything on the right would be iron and steel, and everything on the left would be copper, because then that gives us much bigger area for copper. Yeah. Makes sense. They're still complaining they haven't got enough landfill over there. Yeah. <laughs> well there look at all the little dots down in the lake it looks quite funny they're filling yeah. in a little bit yeah, here and there <laughs> they're not very organized I mean, exactly about it put it in in the right yeah in the right order but <laughs> well, that looks really funny <laughs> Yeah. Well, wow, it takes the robots a while though, right? It does, it does, yeah. Um, they're running out of storage space. Take care of that. I don't think so. I think they're, they're all just waiting patiently for power. Yeah, that could be. They're making the journey and then going, oh, I need some form of power, so help. Yeah. Yeah, that could well be. Wow. Yeah, because I can still see some chests that are 
completely empty, so... Yeah, yeah, there are tons of chests that are empty. Yep. Yeah. yeah, loads over there. Whoa. Okay. So, yeah, there so uh, are... we've hit the 30 minute mark, so shall we bring this to an end here? And uh, Yeah. I think what we're going to generally do is just deconstruct the whole base. Yeah. Which will give us the space to put in the things we want to do. Exactly. And essentially start the game again. That's that's pretty much where we're at, aren't we? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, and doing it on a grander scale this time. Yeah. A more correct scale, I think, than what we were doing. So, yeah. Wow. We just asked them to deconstruct a whole lot more. Yep. Yeah, well, it all needs to go. It all needs to go. So I'm just going to be like, hey. Take the light up. There we go. Even that train track, you probably don't even need that there. That can go too. Yeah, probably. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe when we come back next week, um, it'll be ready. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> this is quite cool though, and fun. Yeah. Yeah, just let them go. Yeah, that's what I thought. I need I need to leave the uh, rubber ports in place because if I take them out, things are gonna go terribly, terribly wrong. Oh yeah, they are, they are. But uh, okay. I suppose let's let's just do the last bit as well, shall we? Mm -hmm. The last bit, which is pretty much the entire rest of the base, all our research. Yeah. It's a quite big bit. So. That there, there we go. That should be the entire base deconstructed. <laughs> <laughs> right, good luck, crazy. robots. Uh, we're gonna go on holiday. We're back in about a year. Yep. They're even gonna deconstruct the fish in the lake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's pretty cool, though. Yeah. Okay, cool. so um, we'll come back next time and uh, carry on. Yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed this one, and uh, we do hope to see you again in the next one. Uh, providing we're still here and the robots have done what they've got to do. <laughs> yeah. And uh, until then, as always, have fun. Bye bye.